After reports that the company had agreed to pleading guilty to conspiring to defraud the US government, Boeing is holding talks with the US Department of Defense, or DOD, to determine how the move could impact its portfolio of defense contracts and future opportunities. Defense is a major sector for Boeing, with more than one-third of the company's revenue last year coming from government defense contracts. As first reported by Reuters, company officials are in discussions with the Pentagon over the impact its guilty plea will have on the defense side of its business. Boeing is a major defense partner of the US military and maintains extensive foreign military sales dealings too. However, its status as a company with a felony charge could harm both its current and future prospects in defense. According to spokesperson Air Force Major General Patrick Ryder, the Pentagon will make a decision as to what steps are necessary and appropriate to protect the federal government. However, the statement did not confirm if the DoD was in talks with Boeing. The plane maker is currently involved in several defense projects, including the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, the P-8 Poseidon, and the KC-46 Pegasus. Going by the letter of the law, U.S. regulations prohibit handing defense contracts to companies convicted of criminal activity. However, agencies are authorized to issue waivers as necessary. Given the scale of some projects and Boeing's capabilities, getting waivers will probably be the case. In fact, this is what happened with tech firm Siemens AG, which was handed a waiver to continue working on government contracts despite a conviction for corruption. Ben Sokanos, airline's director at S&P Global Ratings, told Reuters, We expect that Boeing will likely continue to be a key supplier of defense and space products following the guilty plea. But on the global playing field, things could be more difficult with overseas customers. Many countries, including those in the European Union, prohibit companies from bidding on contracts if they have convictions. Competing against US and non-US defense firms, Boeing is more likely to lose out on valuable revenue in these markets. The Canadian government, which has ordered the P-8 Poseidon, has also said it is keeping an eye on the case and will, quote, assess implications once confirmed. Any impediments to Boeing's ability to win defence contracts will have a significant impact on the company's finances, with its defence and space revenues helping to make up for shortfalls on the commercial side. Last year, Boeing's government contracts accounted for 37% of its total revenue, while a government report from 2022 revealed the plane maker had $14.8 billion in defense contracts that year. Also part of Boeing's proposed guilty plea would be a $243.6 million fine and a commitment to invest over $450 million in its safety and compliance programs, while allowing an independent audit for the next three years. What do you think of Boeing's situation as a defense contractor? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.